a little too fat for his own good, bumping into everything. This one I bred myself. This is a Jiggly Code. Luke, where you been? You're not posting any long videos anymore. <sighs> Sorry guys, been a little busy on my brand new Bobcat. Just joking ladies and gentlemen, this Bobcat is not brand new. It's actually over 30 years old. However, it still runs great. Let's get it started. Yeah, let's go. So yeah, I spent $11,000 on this 1993 Bobcat. Luke, why would you spend $11,000 on a bobcat? You're a goldfish breeder. What do you need a bobcat for? Well, I'm a goldfish breeder that's trying to build a goldfish greenhouse. And I've been having to fill dirt. I've been having to lay gravel. I've been having to do a lot of filling, a lot of moving of large rocks and boulders. And every time I rent this bobcat from Grand Rental, it costs me like $450. And I've had to do it three times already. And there's a lot more times when I need to do this. So I just figured... Why don't I buy one and I will use it and I won't just use it for the goldfish greenhouse. When I cut down trees and I have to move logs or trees fall over, I'll use the bobcat to move the wood. When I have to fill in potholes in my driveway, I'll use the bobcat to do that. When, you know, when, when, when anything needs moving, any heavy thing needs to be moved, I'll use the bobcat and it'll help me out a ton on this property. And worst comes to worst, let's say I use the bobcat, I build the goldfish greenhouse, I get a lot of projects done, and I really don't have much of a need for it anymore. I can always sell it again and it probably will sell for pretty close close to 11,000, maybe it'll be 8,000, maybe it'll be 9,000. But the amount I'll have saved in rentals will be huge because I just have a huge need for this thing. Also, it only has 1,400 hours on it, which is super low for being from 1993. In addition to playing around with the Bobcat and trying to prepare the site for the new Goldfish Greenhouse build, I've also been super busy down here. One, I've been selling a lot of my goldfish because we have a lot of new goldfish. Check out all the mini trumps and the baby carrots. We have lots of baby ranchos. Not just this tank. This is not the only tank of baby ranchos. We also have this tank of baby ranchos. Look at that guy. He's mid crap. His crap is longer than his whole body. Not only do we have one tank full of baby ranchos, not only do we have two tanks full of baby ranchos, we have three tanks full of baby ranchos. No, four tanks full of baby ranchos. Look at all those little fellows right there. No, no, that's not all. We're not done yet. We also got this tank over here. Look at all these ranchos in this tank. We got this big tub here filled with baby ranchos. And we also have this tub filled with baby ranchos. Our spawn between Carrot and Donald Trump was massive. Our spawn between Carrot and Donald Trump was massive. And now we have literally one, two, three, four, five, six baby goldfish tanks. And I'm, I'm going to need to split up the stock even more. I'm going to need to split up the stock even more because there's just so many of these babies. And I cannot grow out all these babies in just these tubs, meaning I'm going to have to sell more goldfish. This is Kirby. Kirby's for sale on my website right now. Kirby is for sale. Those other guys are for sale. I may need to sell a little more of these guys. I may need to sell as adorable as this fella is right here. I might need to sell you. I might need to sell you, you little fatso. I might need to sell a lot of ranchers. I might not even, I might have to go into this tank. Some of my favorites, some of my favorites. Should I sell Girthy Girtha? I can't, I can't sell Girthy Girtha. Guys, look at the girth on her. Look at the absolute girth on Girthy Girtha. Yeah, no, I, I can't sell her. I can't sell this lady either because I want to breed her in the future. This is like a perfect breeding ranchu. Look at the, look at the absolute chunkiness on this, on this lady. Just a beautiful lady. Anyway, we got a ton of baby goldfish. I've been selling a ton of fish. I'm trying to make more space for all these baby goldfish to grow out. I've just been extremely busy just maintaining and doing everything. So I apologize for my lack of long videos. And again, we also have guppies. We got a lot of guppies growing out here. We got a million things going on. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to manage it all. It is stressful, but that's the life I chose. 
So let's get into managing. Let's do some water changes on the babies. We got to do it every single day. Also, look what I bought. I bought this mesh net here, and this mesh net is going to make these water changes go so much faster because I can actually fit this giant. Wait a minute. I think I can. Okay. Yeah. So I can fit this mesh net over this pump here. This is the largest one I could find on Amazon and I can kind of seal it up. And this way I can use my super high powerful pumps to drain my baby tanks as fast as possible without having to worry about them getting ripped to shreds. So you see, we can throw this in there and we no longer have the worry of making a blended smoothie a baby goldfish because the mesh net saves us. So in addition to selling off some of my existing goldfish to make room for all my new goldfish and taking care of all these new goldfish, giving them their daily water changes, I've also been working with a new merch manufacturer. So we now have Luke's Goldies t-shirts available for sale. We have the Luke's Goldies hoodies still on the way and we have the Oreo shirts and Oreo hoodies. Those are still on the way as well, um, but they're all available for pre-order. And if you haven't already, if you're owning a goldfish, you gotta buy a clamp. Go to Harbor Freight, lifetime warranty on the clamps. Also, I realized it's been a minute since I showed Bowser our snapping turtle, and just look how large Bowser has grown. For those of you that don't know, Bowser and his, and his brother, Balthazar, I found them in a nest in my front yard that had been ravaged by a predator um, sometime last year. So I took in all the remaining eggs and six of them successfully hatched. And legally in New Hampshire, you're allowed to keep two snapping turtles. So I released four of them back into my pond outside, but I kept two as pets. And they were just these little quarter sized, tiny little babies. But look at this fat so now. Bowser's definitely bigger, uh, bigger than uh, his brother. I'll pull his brother out now. This is Balthazar over here. So we got Bowser and Balthazar, but both of these guys are, have grown a ton. Like when I look back at pictures of them when they were just born, man, they're really trying to crawl out of my hands. They were tiny. Now they're big. Now they're, soon enough, their bites are gonna hurt. So in addition to changing the water on the babies all the time, I also have to feed them all the time. So I've been feeding them, you know, four or five times a day, trying to always have some food available in the water. And what I'm gonna to try to start doing more often now is holding the blood worms or holding the food that I'm gonna drop in there so they can recognize that it comes from my hands and start to become more friendly with me. So this is around the age where they can eat the blood worms without me chopping them. So I'm hoping if I hold them here in the water that they're gonna be, you know, start becoming more friendly with me and recognize that my hands Mean a, mean a friend is here. So it's actually not safe to touch blood worms with your bare hands because you may develop an allergic reaction. So do not do as I do, do as I say, wear gloves, please. These first couple hand feedings, they're really not gonna swim right up to me. Um, but as they learn that, you know, my hand in the tank means food dropping, pretty soon we should get them all swarming up to my hands. Also, for those of you that have been keeping up with my shorts, as you guys know, we had a goldfish carrot 2.0 uh, pass away this last week, uh, mainly the fault of Donald over here. So as you guys know, we have Donald and Joe, our presidential goldfish. They're in a weight gaining competition. Um, I was breeding them with carrot, but I feel like Donald was just really excessively, excessively breeding uh, more than carrot could handle. And she actually passed away. And that's the first time I've, this is the first time ever I've had a, a female goldfish pass away from aggression and breeding. Um, so that's, that's a first for me. That's something I have to be aware of now in my like, you know, six years of goldfish breeding, six seasons across many different tanks. I've never had that happen before. So this is the first time I've had that happen. Um, so that's some sad news. Uh, some good news. My niece named this goldfish over here Popsicle. Popsicle's a ranchu goldfish, one of cream oranges children. And he just popped out with a dorsal fin, but he's a very, he's a very adorable fish. He's grown up to be a great fish. But yeah, I believe Joe has actually gained more weight than Donald. So for our presidential prediction, as of now, it looks like Joe's in the lead. And quick update on our goldfish, Harold and Gerald. So Harold and Gerald were, a, it's a hybrid goldfish breed. 
between a white ranchu goldfish, Stacy Jr., and a black telescope goldfish, um, Jack, Jack the Black Telescope. So a very interesting crossbreed, and right now it looks like they're mostly taking after their father. Their father, the black telescope goldfish, they are looking a lot more like him than they are their mother, the white ranchu goldfish. I just see that telescope body shape, um, but I don't see the telescope eyes. So this is Stacy Jr. That's the mother of those hybrid goldfish. And that right there is Jack, the father. Oh wow, look at Jack's breeding stars. So you can tell he's in, a, he's in that aggressive male mood right now with those breeding stars. Jill, Jill, what are you doing? Get out of the way. But yeah, Jack is the father right there. Stacy Jr. is the mother. And when you combine a fish like that, and you combine a fish like that, I guess, I guess you get a goldfish like that which honestly is worse than either of them. <laughs> this one's a little better. Uh, this is Gerald. Gerald is a little better. Uh, Harold is missing half of his fin, but that's just a genetic issue. That's just a genetic ugly factor right there. But yeah, you're looking beautiful, little buddy. I just remembered I had this massive net in here, and check this out. Check out all these babies I can scoop up with this massive net. So right now the babies are at the time where some of them are just beginning to develop their colors. So you can see that some of these guys are, wow, this is a really nice one. There's a, this is a really, really nice goldfish, I just noticed. Do you guys see how smooth and perfect that back curvature is? Do you get, this is, a, this is an ideal ranchu. A very nice smooth back curvature, the tail ticks upward, that's perfect. Um, yeah, this is exactly, this is exactly what I look for in a side view ranchu. This is exactly, this is exactly what I look for in a side view ranchu. Wow. But yeah, as I was saying, a majority don't have their color yet, but some of them, some of them are beginning to develop their color. Like look at this guy right here, he's just beginning to transition. But yeah, we're getting, we're getting some good color turning on these guys. And yeah, we just have so many. We just have an insane amount. There's, that's just a fraction of them. Also, I know I was showing you this tank earlier, but I just want to show you some of these guys again. Oh my goodness. So some of these are my own breed. Some of these are ones that I've bred myself. Other ones of these I did not breed, but I, uh, I bought them and I groomed them um, from a small age. Now this guy right here, this one I bred myself. This one I bred myself. This is a Jiggly Code. Codeman is the father, Jigglypuff is the mother, and I am really proud of this fish. I am really proud of this fish. I know the back curvature is not perfect and the tail is not perfect, but the face, the face on this dude. So yeah, I bred this fish. I'm very, I'm very proud of that. Um, who else did I breed here? I bred this, this chunkalicious monster of a nugget. I bred this one too. Again, it has a little bit of a hump right here, but I'm still proud of this one. I'm still proud of this, of this fatso right here because uh, I just, I think it's a beautiful ranchu. I think it's a very beautiful fish. So you're beautiful. That was another uh, jiggly code right there. Let's see, these other guys, all these guys I groomed. All these other guys I groomed from a, from a young age. But yeah, beautiful chunkalicious ranchu there. I already showed you, I already showed you these two earlier. Beautiful chunkalicious ranchus. And this one right here is a nice calico. Look at that calico. But yeah, I have them in this big 180 gallon tub. This is where they're growing out. And also, do you guys see the giant white monster in there? This is carrot 1.0. Oh my gosh. This is carrot 1.0. And this one is actually one of the uh, I believe this might be a mini Chad. Actually, now that I think of it, this is the last remaining mini Chad. Oh my gosh, and look, look at the size of the carrot. Carrot's been on a growth tear recently. Carrot's just been growing like, well, this is carrot 1.0. Carrot 2.0 died, unfortunately. But yeah, carrot 1.0, oh my gosh. But yeah, I bred this one too. I bred this ranchu as well. But yeah, on an absolute massive growth tear. Also one of the ranchus I bred, also I'm very proud of. Look at the front face. 
Look at that. So I believe this is a Millie code. Codeman is the father, Millie Bobby Goldfish as the, uh, the mother. And yeah, we got a pretty nice smooth back curvature, a little flat on the top, but the when, the when and the lips and everything on this one, I'm very proud of that little chunk of delicious ranch. We got a lot of beauties in this tank as well. Like, this is why it's so hard to decide which of these guys to sell. It's so hard to decide. Also, this is the super soldier one. This is the little tiny, this is the little tiny goldfish that I found in the aged water tub. This is the little tiny goldfish that I found in the aged water tub. Um, not that much growth because I'm pretty sure it got pretty stunted. I'm pretty sure this guy got pretty stunted in the aged water tub, but he's doing great. Uh, this is bubonic plague. This is bubonic plague right here. Uh, well, I think one of my followers named bubonic plague in a live stream. But yeah, bubonic plague is growing even, even faster than the bubonic plague grew. Bubonic plague, the goldfish grows even faster. This, is, uh, this one I never named. This one, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 this is Mr. Blaze. This is Mr. Blaze, but actually a female goldfish. But this is Mr. Blaze. Again, I don't want to sell Mr. Blaze. Mr. Blaze is beautiful. I should call her Mrs. Blaze, but still. And we cannot forget about Rocky Goldfish. Rocky Goldfish is one of the most... This goldfish likes to thrash the most, Rocky Goldfish. Um, I named this Rocky Goldfish after one of my followers, Rocky Goldfish. He's also a goldfish Instagrammer. Um, but yeah, Rocky Goldfish is a... He's a beast. He's an aggressive beast. He really is the same one from Cream Orange's batch. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. And then over here, this is just another, this is just another one of the, the Millie codes, but oh, just a cute little ranchu, a cute little ranchu. And what about our King, Mr. Clean? Mr. Clean is out of the hospital tank and you know, he seems to be doing mostly well. Now I did notice that little weird bubble on his forehead returned. That little weird bubble on the back of his head returned. Remember when he had that weird bubble appear for the first time? That weird bubble has, has a, appeared to have returned. So Mr. Glean's gone from death and back. He's gone from bubbles in the back of his head and back. Um, he seems to, you know, get problems quite easily, but pretty, uh, is pretty resilient in, a, in overcoming them. So yeah, he's still alive and kicking. Uh, Mr. Plushie's good. Millie Bobby Goldfish is good. Um, I have sold off a lot of the major adults. I've sold off a lot of the major adults, but I'm not selling Mr. Clean. That I will guarantee to you guys. Out of any goldfish in this room, maybe also Cheese Ball. I really like Cheese Ball. I really like Cheese Ball. He's my, he's my friend. You too, Oreo. Guys, if you haven't bought your Oreo merch, go buy your Oreo merch now. But anyway, out of any goldfish in the, in the fish room, Mr. Clean, I will guarantee to you guys that I'm not selling. You know what, Mr. Clean, for stocking purposes to reduce the stocking of that tank, I will be moving you into the red cap. Oh my gosh! He bolted down there so fast, he smashed his face on the ground. But anyway, we got Num Nums over here. Num Nums, the massive red cap goldfish. I bought him from the pet store last year, and he's been, you know, growing like crazy. Bean 2.0, also bought him from the pet store last year. He has not been growing like crazy. Lobotomy, I imported him from Thailand only to suck half of his head off with a pump on accident. And then for his friends to eat the other half of his head when I wasn't looking. Um, I never named this dude, but it looks like he has a part of his one missing as well. Don't know how that happened. This guy was having swim bladder issues, so I put him in the hospital tank. I don't think he's having any swim bladder issues anymore. And a little bit of methylene blue always does the trick. Um, Tubby Toby's actually gotten unhealthily fat. Um, he's the kind of goldfish that you enjoy, but you never breed because that's a little bit too fat. Um, that's, you know, when you get a little too fat for your own good, that's like half of Americans nowadays. But it's also Tubby Toby, a little too fat for his own good, bumping into everything. I spy with my little eye a snapping turtle swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. You can't run away from Papa. Anyway, I know this vlog has been super hectic, super all over the place. I didn't even show you the turtles. My bad, my bad. I forgot to really show you the guppies and update you on the glass belly guppies. Glass belly guppy update, they're growing. Normal guppy update, they're growing. 
Pumpkin glass belly guppy update. They're actually not growing that much. There's like, they, they had a couple babies, I don't know. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. Um, I also had one too many energy drinks today. I had three energy drinks today. Do not tell anyone. I don't know why. I was really tired. I had a lot to do. But we're getting it done. I got the bobcat work done. I'm getting a lot done here in the basement. Sorry for a very chaotic vlog where I just rambled. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Anyway, that's all for today. I got to finish up my water changes. Don't forget to pre-order the merch. Luke Scoldies, out.